So today I'm gonna to show you guys a strategy where we're gonna play double overhand choke. So double choking arms here um, instead of the over under. And we're gonna do this because a lot of times if we play one, they can just defend this one arm and it can be really difficult to deal with. So I'm gonna show you a strategy that I saw that I really like that I've been using for a long time and hopefully this helps with you guys. So guys, so today we're gonna to break some rules with back mount. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Uh, but there is a strategy that I like using from back mount to go for chokes. And it was something, again, I watched uh, at a competition just recently on uh, on Fight Pass and was watching a, um, I guess he's actually sort of on the team, his, his coach is a friend of mine, John Salter, who's on my association, and his name is Joe Selecki, uh, one of my actual, one of my teammates right now, um, Mark, trained with him, and I was watching his match, and he did a beautiful job of playing double overhand grips from the back mount. So I'm going to show you like what he kind of did. I'm not going to show you exactly what he did, because again, he probably has details to it, but I'm going to show you the basic idea, and I'll show you one of the ways that I use the same strategy to be a little bit more effective from the back. As always, this is my lovely assistant, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's get started. All right, guys, so I said at the beginning, you know, we're gonna break some rules. And what I was talking about is basically, most of the time you'll hear that you should always have like an underarm and an overarm. So a choking arm and then the secondary hand that we use for control. What we're gonna do for a moment is we're gonna play double overhand grips. So we're gonna basically opt for two choking arms. Now, when you do this, you're giving up a lot of control from the second hand here to do this. And so you have to do a couple things. Now, in the match that I was watching, Joe played a body triangle. Now, I don't have the legs to body triangle anyone that's probably over the age of four. My legs are just kind of thick and short. But he was playing a body triangle. And what he did was is he went in with, if I'm correct, if I'm remembering this correctly, he went in for the left hand here. The hand was defended right here and came in immediately back with the right. And this is a strategy that I, I've been using for a long time. And so it was kind of cool to see someone else use it a little bit differently but the same idea. So he was using the body triangle for control and then was playing the double arms and going from here. Now, I play it a little bit differently. I'll play it from the choking arm side on the bottom like this, okay? And then I play this position a little bit in a funky way. So first off, I'm gonna go to a half back. Now, if you're doing jiu-jitsu competitions, this is points, this is no points. So again, just kind of keep that in mind if you decide to play it. But I like this position because one of the easiest ways, like if we're here, one of the easiest ways for him to escape the choking arm side um, being on the bottom back mount is to really start to fight these hips. Because if he starts to fight these hips, it's hard for me to stay over top of him. He can get his hips down and then he can come down like that. A lot of times that tends to be an easier way to escape this. So to deal with that, I'm gonna go for this, this half back position. I can either kick the leg or cross the legs behind. Now if he tries to get his hips over top like that, it's gonna be very difficult. Now to play this double arm side, I'm gonna have to deal with the back here. With the underarm here, this helps stop him. So if he tries to get his shoulders down right now, it's gonna be difficult because I have some control. If I take this arm out, get your shoulders down, he's gonna be able to get his shoulders down. So to fight that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my elbow here and lean forward. This accomplishes two things. One, it keeps my chest driving him forward. Notice how far he's leaning. And at the same time, notice that I've taken my dominant hand, which is my right hand, and I've pulled it back. And so now he can't get a grip on my choking arm. This is significant because a lot of times with the arm in here, they will grab this choking arm and defend it, right? So by pulling this out and coming up, now it's very hard to grab, okay? Now from here, here's what I like to do. I like to start to attack and I can go in here. Now again, this is not the, the best choking threat ever, but again, he is just gonna feel an arm going across his neck. In, in Jiu Jitsu, if you feel an arm going across your neck, you are going to defend it. Now, again, it, I'm not in the best position to choke because my head and my choking arm are on the same side, but if he doesn't defend this, I can easily pull his head through and begin to choke. But what typically happens is when we start to go in here like this, they come up to defend with two hands. Now, as this arm pulls back, I can shoot underneath. And when you go for a rear naked choke, we punch the shoulder through, try to get your elbow right under the neck, and then we can slide back for the rear naked. Now, remember, when you do your rear naked, don't do this like Macarena thing where you stick your hand out and go behind the neck. Palm over top of the knuckles and elbow comes through. It's a nice way to get the choke. And again, very little movement. Let's take a look at it from another angle. By the way, I've shared this sort of move before. If you look on my elbow right now, we've been doing back mount, you'll see that it's kind of red. I probably got a little mat burn there. This is from coming up to that elbow over and over and over again, okay? So let's take a look at it from this side angle here. So I begin with the half back, right? So I'm in my, I got my hooks. I'm going backwards, either kicking this leg up or crossing behind the hips here. Coming up to the elbow, leaning forward. Again, I'm very, I'm driving forward. It's very, 
active. It's not a very lazy position, okay? Now, let's have a look just from right. I wanna see this right here. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go underneath the neck. When he starts to defend, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my weight off, and this is, it's a little tricky at first, you'll have to drill it, but watch how this arm is gonna go through. As this arm pulls back, I'm gonna punch this through. Notice that I have my hand made into a blade so it's nice and thin, I shoot underneath. And when I choke, notice how my chest kind of faces the ceiling. A lot of people go for their chokes and they stay straight on. The problem is, notice how shallow this is. I want to punch my elbow all the way through so I can reach back here, and now I've got a really deep grip. And a lot of times you can finish one-arm chokes very successfully this way, but if not, we go for a regular we're naked here, okay? So again, one more time on this, we come up, boom, get in here, we go for the choke here, I'm driving forward, boom, shoot in, just like that, okay? So, So guys, that is just a really effective way to choke from the choking arm side. So again, a lot of times people will play from the underarm side. Some people play from the choking arm side. I don't think one's more right than the other. It's just a different way to do it. But I saw Joe Selecki going for that, choking with that arm, and then switching through, playing double overhands. It's a great strategy if you know how to use it. Um, again, you can use that body triangle, or if you don't have the legs for it like I do, I don't have the legs, um, I have to play it a little differently. You can try that half back and come up onto your elbow and really drive them forward. And then that allows you some extra control to then play double choking arms. So then again, they can no longer worry about one hand, they have to worry about both. It's a really cool strategy to implement into your jiu-jitsu. So hopefully that helps you guys. I'm finished. Adam? Adam.